Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to look at all signs, Aries through Pisces, you versus your person. Are you mirroring each other or are you on different pages? We're gonna look at both of your feelings and your intentions and then the likely outcome. Now, if you do want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. All right, we're gonna start with Aries first. Aries, you and your person, your feelings and your intentions, are you on the same page or are you on different pages? Let's find out. You feel like I'm hearing all is fair, love and war. So you feel like in all fairness, this person should love you through the good and through the bad. Your intentions is to be very clear, very critical with what you expect from this person. Your person feels like they have invested as much as they can invest. They don't have any more to invest in you. Their intentions is to not continue to invest as much. The likely outcome, you could be married to this person. You could have children with this person. Does look like the two of you are still fighting to hold on to what each other needs emotionally but it does feel like your person is going to pull back emotionally. They're not going to engage in the connection as they once were. We do have the five of wands and the five of pentacles. So there is a lot of fighting with the communication. You feel justified in the situation that your person is not giving you what you need and they feel justified that they've given you enough. Taurus, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. All right, Taurus and their person, feelings and intentions for Taurus. All right, your feelings. You want to be very clear with your feelings. Your intentions is... You want something stable, something confident, something that you can rely on. Your person feels like they have invested a lot. They've done a lot of work to, I'm hearing, um, paint the picture of what you want. Now, we do have two of cups for their intentions. So they are intending to give you whatever they have invested up to this point. The likely outcome, the Ten of Swords, the Chariot, and the Nine of Wands. So... This is an energy of letting something go because it's not working. You may decide that you're going to let this person go because what they've given you isn't enough. It's not enough stability, it's not secure enough, it's not exactly what you need. We got the justice hidden at the bottom of the deck. So you may feel justified to cut this person off because you may choose to move away because you don't feel a sense of security. We've got the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Swords. So there's a defeated energy that you feel and it looks like with the Chariot, you're gonna boot scoot boogie and keep moving. Even though your person feels like they have invested a lot. Gemini, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Gemini, no contact, or I'm sorry, Gemini, maybe you're in no contact with this person. Uh, you versus your person. What are your feelings and intentions, Gemini? Let's find out. Gemini and their person. Okay, you feel really, really like you just want to give this person all your love. Your intentions is to fight for this connection. Your person feels like the two of you could put it together. You could maybe work this out. Their intentions is to weigh the pros and cons of your perspective versus their perspective. The likely outcome. Okay, so we do have the three of wands, the ace of swords, the uh, king of pentacles, and in reverse hidden at the bottom of the deck is the seven of cups. So there's not third party energy here, but there is gonna be a clear communication of how we bring stability into this connection going forward. So maybe you did have a recent fight and your intentions is to bring the love back in the connection. Your person feels like the two of you could work this out also. So if you are in no contact or separation, it does feel like you both are wanting to roll up your sleeves and figure out how to compromise through the situation. Cancer, you versus your person, what are your feelings and intentions? You want your own personalized in-depth reading? My website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. All right, Cancer, you and your person, feelings and intentions, Cancer. 
you feel really like you want to heal the situation, but your intentions is to block this person or to push them away because you want to focus on yourself and your healing. Your person feels like maybe they should just move away. Maybe that the best decision is for them to find peace separately outside the connection. Their intentions is to make the decision, to make the judgment call of what it is that they need to do next. Likely outcome. Five of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and Page of Pentacles. We do have the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So you may actually block this person. This person is going to feel abandoned if you do block them. They're going to feel like you've left them completely all by themselves to fend for themselves. Especially if you live together, this person may feel like they're not at a place ready to transition away from it, maybe financially. does look like your person may want to put in a little more work. Even though they want a place of peace and they may make the decision that later on they want to move on, right now they don't. So there is going to be an opportunity for the two of you to discuss this does look like the King of Swords is hidden at the bottom of the deck. So there is going to be a really critical conversation the two of you are about to have. Leo, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. All right, Leo, you versus your person. What are your feelings and intentions versus your person, Leo? Leo and their person. All right, your feelings, the tower, something major has happened. Your intentions is the three of wands. You're waiting out after this tower moment to see what might be coming towards you. Your person feels like there was an opportunity of commitment here, and now their intentions is they're kind of blindsided by this tower moment. Maybe you created the tower moment, Leo. Their actions or the likely outcome is temperance, knight of swords, queen of cups. So have the Knight of Cups is hidden at the bottom of the deck in reverse. Feels like your person wants to come in and defend their stance, defend their feelings and emotions for you, Leo. They're trying to be patient. They're kind of fearing coming towards you, especially if you're the one who created this tower moment. This person was maybe blindsided by this tower moment, but it does look like they want to defend their stance or defend the feelings and emotions they have for you. All right, Virgo. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. All right, Virgo, you versus your person. What are your feelings and intentions versus your person, Virgo? Virgo. Virgo. Your feelings is the magician. Your intentions is the four swords. So you're feeling like you can make magic happen in this connection, but your intentions is to get to a place of maybe peace or accepting what you need to do. Your person feels like the three of wands. So, and their intentions is the eight of wands. So they feel like they are waiting for something, but they are going to communicate what they're waiting for. Let's see the likely outcome. Okay, so we've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, and the Temperance. We also have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So it does look like there is going to be a conversation that the two of you are going to have about this opportunity of what could potentially come about in the connection. It does look like patience is required for both of you at this time. Libra. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. All right, Libra, you versus your person. What are your feelings and intentions versus your person, Libra? Libra and their person. Libra. Your feelings is the hangman. Your intentions is the world. So you feel like you need to let this go. You feel like you need to finally surrender that the door maybe needs to be closed. A cycle needs to be closed. Your person feels the emperor. Their intentions is the six of pentacles. Your person feels really stubborn over the situation that they, I'm hearing, I said what I said and I meant what I said. So whatever maybe they said, they're not persuading from it. Their intentions is the Six of Pentacles. So maybe they're not giving in the connection in the way they should. 
The likely outcome is the Eight of Pentacles, the Justice, and the Four of Pentacles. We also have the Ace of Wands hidden at the bottom of the deck. So it feels like you both feel like justified that you've given, you've put in the work, but it's just not working. And because of that, there's a scarcity mentality where both of you feel like you need to take your control back. You need to take your time and your effort back. Scorpio, do you want your own personalized in-depth reading? My website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Scorpio, you versus your person. What are your feelings and intentions? Are you on the same page with your person or not? Scorpio. Scorpio and their person. Scorpio. You're feeling the Ten of Swords. Your intentions is the Two of Pentacles. So you feel like... You can't carry any more of this burden that you feel like maybe it's just done. Your intentions is to really understand, is it over? Is it not really over? Do I have to accept it or should I not accept it? Your person's feelings is the Ace of Cups. Their intentions is the devil. So they're obsessed with maybe getting a new opportunity. Likely outcome, Nine of Swords, the World, and the Ace of Pentacles. We also got the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. So you could be dealing with the Capricorn. We do have um, Aries at the bottom of the deck too. You know, it feels like there's a lot of fear and anxiety that you feel forced that you need to let this go, but your person may try to present a new opportunity. Like, hey, you know, if we can't be together, maybe we could do Friends with Benefits. Or if we're not going to be exclusive, maybe we could still be... Um, you know, close or, you know, there's like, it feels like there's a compromise because your person's obsessed with that. That could be that rigid, stubborn energy also. Sagittarius. I shouldn't say compromise. I should say a negotiation. Uh, Sagittarius, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Sagittarius and their person. What is the feelings and intentions for Sagittarius and their person? Feelings and intentions. Sagittarius, you're feeling the three of wands. Your intentions is seven of pentacles. So you feel like you need to wait. You've invested and now you're waiting to see the return on your investment. Your person feels the seven of swords and their intentions is the eight of pentacles. They feel like they've been lied to by you. They feel like you haven't been fully honest with them. Their intentions is to focus on their work. Likely outcome, nine of wands, page of cups, and seven of cups. I also have the ace of wands at the bottom of the deck. So it does look like your person has this vulnerability factor that they're very sensitive. Maybe they're highly intuitive. They know something is not right here. That could be why they have the seven of swords. They feel like you have turned your back on them for some reason or energetically have turned your back. And now this person feels like they are sensitive to that energy of resistance and they are now maybe ready to pursue new options or you are. Take it as that resonates. Capricorn. You want your own personalized in-depth reading? My website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Capricorn, you versus your person. What are your feelings and intentions? Are you mirroring each other or are you on different pages? Capricorn and their person. Capricorn. Capricorn. Your feelings is the Ten of Cups. Your intentions is the Two of Swords. So you feel like this could be somebody that could make you really happy, that there could be a, a lot of emotional contentment and satisfaction. But your intentions is to be blinded to the truth about something in the situation. Your person feels like they need to listen to their intuition. They also feel like maybe you're keeping a secret from them. Their intentions is the moon. So you both maybe are using your intuition in the situation. We do have the three of swords. There's hurt or disappointment. There could be third party. Let's see likely outcome. Wheel of fortune, four of wands. You could be married and the fool. We got the queen of swords at the bottom of the deck. 
You both could have hurt each other. There could be a lot of disappointment between each other. Looks like you guys are both wanting to try to come back together to try to fix things. You both feel intuitively about this hurt and disappointment, but it does look like with the Fool and the Four of Wands, you're wanting to bring stability back into the connection, wanting to have a brand new start, a brand new cycle together. Aquarius. You want your own personalized in-depth reading? My website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Aquarius, you and your person, what are your feelings? What are your intentions? Aquarius and their person. All right, your feelings, the hangman. Your intentions is the king of cups. You're feeling like you have sacrificed a lot for this person. Your intentions is to let this person know you love them, you want a sense of comfort, but you feel like you've sacrificed a lot. Your person feels like maybe you haven't been honest with them about something, and their intentions is they're continuing to invest, but they're sitting back and observing what your investment is going to be. What's the likely outcome? The Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, Three of Wands. You. Your person may feel like you took something from them. Time, effort, money, love, affection. It does look like slowly this person or you, one of you is going to try to work, reach out to the other one to see where is this going to go in the future? What, what are we doing here? Because it does look like there's something that is being held with that Knight of Pentacles. Something is, is being blocked. It's an energy of, I can see it, but I, I don't really know how to get there. So it feels like you guys are trying to figure that out. Your person doesn't trust you, and you maybe don't trust them because you feel like you're sacrificing something. Pisces, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Pisces and their person. You versus your person. What are your feelings and intentions? What are your person's feelings and intentions? Pisces. You feel like there's a lot of fighting. You want stability and security with your intentions. Your person feels like they are a stable person, but their intention is to recognize there is some toxicity in the connection. Likely outcome, Ace of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and Eight of Wands. So you guys are going to have another conversation, and it may lead to one of you trying to hold back from the other, trying to understand how to get the other person to open up. One of you may try to do this boomerang thing where one person pulls their energy back in the hopes that it triggers the other person to come forward. It does look like it will trigger that. Whether it's you or it's your person, it does look like one of you is going to get triggered to go towards the other person and open up and try to resolve the conflict that the two of you are currently going through.